a lot of people say, what is the near field and how is it different from the far field? So the near field region is generally around a, uh, a quarter wave of the frequency that you're operating on to a wave. It can vary a little bit depending upon the antenna and the frequency that you're, work, that you're operating on. When you transmit your antenna, you have radiation that's coming off of that. And they refer to it in two different ways. They'll call it constructive and destructive radiation. So some radiation coming off the antenna will work with other radiation to point a signal in a certain direction. Other destructive radiation will cause interference and cause null spots or cause problems for you. It's one of the reasons why directional antennas work the way that they do. <clears throat> but you have a lot of chaos in that near field. And that, that, this is one of the reasons why I say I don't like carbon fiber antenna mass, because that is a uh, conductive piece of material that can cause reactants to the energy, your electric and your magnetic um, radiation coming off your antenna in that near field. Just beyond the near field is something that's called a transition zone. Some folks will call it the, the, the Fresnel. I like to say Fresnel because I'm a redneck with the Fresnel region. And that's where the radiation starts to sort itself out and determine how it's going to radiate in which directions and at which strength from your antenna. And that is what is visible in the far field of your radiating zone. People will take different measurements uh, with things like field strength meters and nano VNAs and tiny SAs, but you really want to be in the far field if you really want to get an accurate representation of what your antenna is doing because of that chaos that's taking place in the near field. One of the analogies that I've heard to kind of describe this is like, imagine you're in a boat and you're kind of speeding across the pond or the lake or whatever. And the water splashing off of the body of the boat is chaotic. It's splashing. It's going all over the place. Think of that as your near field. Once you start to get a few feet out from the boat, you have waves, like they call it your wake. And that wake is very predictable, right? You can watch a boat go across and you can see the wake coming off of it. And you can even gauge where it's going to be. Even further away from that, you start to see the ripples that go across the lake. And that would be your far field. How often do you guys get asked about the near field versus the far field? Never. <laughs>